VR monitor from a plugin alliance. And what this allows you to do is mix your music uh, with headphones. Obviously, you're going to need headphones on. Or this is going to sound kind of weird. So be sure to have headphones on whenever you're uh, watching this, listening to this. What it allows you to do is mix your music with headphones like you are in a million dollar, multi-million dollar studio, either in stereo or even as you saw there, above stereo in all kinds of different uh, uh, types of surround. So overall, the interface is super easy to use. Head down here, choose your speaker setup. Now in Pro Tools, in order to get all of these uh, different setups, you're gonna have to set up your own bus, okay? Uh, I'll show you how to do that in a minute. But for most people who are just going to mix in stereo, you can just drop this right on the master and uh, you'll choose between the mono and the stereo types here. Set up your control room. That's basically it. Super easy to use. But if you want to listen in surround, at least here in Pro Tools, let me show you real quick how to set that up. So for Pro Tools now, let's go to setup and IO and we'll head over here to uh, head over here to a bus and we'll just say a new path and let's um, come over here and say new and then choose whatever you know width of uh, a monitoring track that you want whatever kind of surround you want so if i wanted uh, 6.1 choose that name it maybe six you know 61 6.1 whatever you want to name it and create that and then we'll see this down here uh, make sure i check it there and then i can choose my monitoring path now for most people that's just going to be uh your one two out okay so whatever your headphones are plugged into it's just that easy and then you would of course create a master track for that so a we did 6.1 we'll go with 6.1 master bada bing bada boom there is our new master right here master three then we'd head in here and we'd find our plugin and we want dear vr monitor there it is then we could choose all these different uh speaker setups we can't choose the ones well except 502 uh, with heights, but we can choose these here in this case because we chose the 6.1. Then for our tracks, so see this track here, we just route this out to our 6.1. Okay, then we have that routed out to our track right there. You see it come in here. And go ahead and choose your different uh, monitoring uh, speaker setups. Okay, now, again, for most people, we're just going to drop this on a master track for just doing like stereo stuff. So we'll focus on that now. We'll come over here to maybe these samples. Here's our stereo master right here. So then if, if it's on a stereo uh, master there, of course we can only choose from these, uh, these output types. So let's go through this real, uh, real quick. The interface, like I said, super simple uh, to understand. All right, so what we can do here, as we're checking our mix uh, on our headphones in like a million dollar studio, you can of course choose your speaker setup. Again, we're on a stereo track, so we can do mono input, mono summed, so we can check this on mono. See if there's any problems, right? With the stereo, the stereo wide. And then we can choose our scene or our room, so our million dollar studio here. And instead of really mod modeling a certain room, they modeled mix room A, mix room B, large room, and then we can adjust things right here. So the overall ambience and then the focus of that. We can also check our uh, mix on uh, you know, different types of speakers or setups like a car, for example. A van. Home theater, kitchen. Looks like a large club. So that's your control room. Just select what you want. Go through here, obviously, whenever you're doing most of your mixing, you're just gonna choose a room, either A or B, generally, or maybe the large one. If you wanna mix in a room with no room response at all, just the pure sound coming from the speakers, you can try the analytics dry, or the analytic dry, or the analytic position, especially if you're doing things like immersive speaker setups.
Now we come over to our ambience slider. And you can sort of think of this as being closer to the speaker or further away from the speaker or more of uh, the experience of the room uh, or whatever you're happen to be checking. So for example, if we do a car and we'll pull this down to neutral, don't have as much, right? Pull it over to the experience side. Get more of that ambience of the car and the overall experience of being uh, in the car or whatever space we uh, happen to be in. Here's a cinema, uh, for example. Or neutral. Then we have our focus and we have clarity or localized. And these can kind of be hard to describe, but the way I sort of think of it is uh, localized to me sounds more like uh, you're close to the location of, uh, of the source, whether it's the speaker, the room, whatever it happens to be. And clarity, there seems to be more of a mix of, uh, of everything. But I'll show you what I mean in just a second on this here. Uh, but let's go to mix room A. Way down here. Go over to localize. So it's a more localized sound overall. Now, in general, the way I would usually set this up is I take my experience up a bit and the localization up a bit, and then I just, uh, Start mixing right there. Of course, choose your speaker setup, but either mix room A. I kind of like mix room B a little bit better personally. But the reason why I say that, let's do this here. Let's put this, the ambience down on uh, neutral and the focus here all the way over to clarity to minus 100. And I'm going to bypass this and you're almost going to almost, at least with these headphones, not going to hear hardly any difference at all. Okay. Ready? Bypass. Let's bypass. Back on. I'm not hearing much, right? A little bit of a difference. But on the other hand, if I take the experience up higher and the localization up higher, either halfway or a little more, right? Then you're going to hear a big difference. Right, big difference like that. All right, so again, that's why I would usually take my experience up a bit so I get more feeling of the room overall and uh, a little bit more of the feeling, uh, the localization of that audio. Now let's check out localization uh, real quick here in another way. So here we have a snare and a kick, very simple stuff here, okay? Now these are panned, as you can see here. My snare way up here, my kick, way over to this side here. If I bypass, you can hear they're extremely you know, separated. Of course, once we bring the speakers in, it's cross talk between those, you know, between the room, right? So if we take the experience of the room up, we take the localization up, so again, let me bypass this here. So we hear it completely separated, bring in our speakers. All right, more localized overall. Or you can hear that in your headphones, right? All right, so again, just generally speaking, I usually just choose whatever room I want. Usually uh, B, I like wide stereo setup. And then move this up a bit and uh, move your focus up a bit. And then we have our head rotation. So let's go back to our stereo track here. Check that one out. 
So the head rotation simulates you turning your head, you know, in a room where there's uh, speakers. And it actually, if you turn your head while you move this, it sounds, you know, very accurate. So we'll play back here. Again, it lets you check your mix from all angles. And of course, you know, this works with your surround setups as, uh, as well. And then you have a master output gain. So that's really all there is, uh, all there is to it. It's pretty simple to use. Overall sounds good. Allows you to mix your music again. Uh, wearing headphones, work with any headphones, set up your stereo, uh, set up here. If you're just using stereo, or if you have more than, uh, more than stereo, you have surround bunch of different options and choices. Mix here in any of your mix rooms and then check your mix in a van, a cinema, home theater, kitchen, so on and so forth. So we'll go through some of these if you want. Here is a live venue. Let's put this stereo wide. I take that down to neutral, less of the overall experience of being in a live venue, right? Pull it over more. It's almost like you're way back in the venue like that, you know? Acoustic venue. Clarity. Where it's more localized for the audio, where it's coming from. Sort of how I think about it anyway. A van. By the way, I can double click this uh, to set it back to the center real, uh, real quick there. Cinema. Bypass it. You can really set up the perfect space to check your mix. The club. Stadium. All right, so that is Dear VR Monitor. Again, a way for you to mix your music on headphones, not bother anybody with your speakers being on. Maybe you have crappy speakers, who knows? Uh, you don't have good monitors, good speakers, good things to mix on, then this something like this would be uh, very useful for you. All right, that is Dear VR Monitor. And of course it's AAX, VST, and uh, AU, so it's gonna work on all DAWs. Go ahead and check it out at pluginalliance.com or you can go dash.com. Either way, it will take you to the same uh, website. All right. So that is Dear VR Monitor. Oh, and by the way, you can get this as part of the uh, make a bundle as well uh, or just buy it outright. Up to you. Just make sure you bypass this or remove it from your master before you bounce out. Okay. Just make sure you do that. Otherwise, your mix will be uh, set up for hearing, hearing uh, speaker emulations on headphones. That's not what you want. Okay. Be sure to bypass it or remove it from your master before you bounce. All right. That's Dear VR Monitor from Plugin Alliance. Mix your music in a perfectly tuned room in a multi million dollar studio room, stereo, surround, whatever you want, only using headphones.